What is going on, everybody? Back with another one. Let's hop right into it. If you've been on any of my live streams, you know at some point I'm going to start talking about real estate, something I'm heavily involved in. I'm a believer in it. It's a great investment. So I wanted just to share a little bit more about my journey, the ups and downs, show you the mistakes, show you the receipts. So for any of you out there who are on your journey, getting ready for your first rental, hopefully you're able to pull some value out of what I am sharing. But I will say, if you are getting started and it's something that you are interested in, research, research, research is going to be the key because I could definitely see how it looks extremely overwhelming if you don't know what you're doing. I get it, I get it. When I first started, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. I don't, what are we talking about? Like, what do you mean I can get a tenant and they're gonna start paying into the equity and the, what are we talking about? But once you start niching down and start to figure out, this is kind of how I started. I wanted, first I need to figure out what type of real estate investments that I wanted to get into. I decided I wanted to focus on rentals. It's not as glamorous, it's not as sexy. You don't see it on HGTV too often but I wanted to build a portfolio. I wanted to build assets. I wanted to build something that could be passed down, that can live on after I'm gone. I wanted something that can build equity, that can later on you know, be utilized to invest in more real estate or invest in other investments. So I wanted to hold on to properties. And I was always thinking long view about, hey, how, how can I establish just cash flow every month but at the very least i know this number is going to come in so i decided to just focus on rentals so first off have an idea of where you want to be involved within real estate next i would say take the emotion out a little bit remember this isn't like your primary residence this isn't something that you are going to be living in for the next you know 30 plus years or however long so and you got to now put on the investment hat and i say that because when you look at it like a primary you will start missing the details with the numbers and you will hear me talk about numbers 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 throughout this video and numerous videos to come when you look at it like a primary you put the emotion into it you're you're thinking to yourself okay this looks sweet i could live here i want you know i want to put this color paint on the wall and all like, whoa, 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 no, this is an investment. You have to treat it like such. So yes, it may look nice. It's a cute house. You love the layout, all of that stuff. But does the numbers make sense that you will be positive cash flowing when you do close on it and you start getting a tenant in there every month? And if the answer is no, then no, it's not a good place. It's, it's not a good deal. It's all about the deal. <laughs> The numbers have to make sense. The location, it's based on numbers, okay? What's the surrounding rents in that area for a three bedroom, two bath, okay? How is there a steady flow of growth in the area? All numbers. How's the school district? What is the zip code? Numbers, 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 numbers. Same thing with the property, it's numbers. You're gonna buy it for this particular number after taxes, your fees, insurance, HOA, if there is any, once you reach that number, okay, and now you have whatever the rent is gonna be, numbers, are you in the positive or are you in the negative? And if it's not green, no, the, the deal isn't gonna work. Positive cash flow, positive cash flow, that is what matters. And you're able to start deciphering that once you start taking the emotion out of it and just looking at the numbers and looking at the deal. And we'll go, go, we'll go more in depth with each step of the way. And, but I just wanted to kind of give you like just a very brief, quick overview on how it works and how you can before, even if you're not ready to go ahead and make it happen and start going, looking for this property, looking for that property, you can start doing the research now. Whatever city that you live in, Start just looking at, okay, 
putting in some towns, putting in some zip codes that you're familiar with and just seeing what are options. Now, I will say this when we talk about the deal and talk about numbers, I don't particularly look for properties that are already that are already on market. I look for the off market deals and that's a whole other conversation in itself. Just to get familiar with just researching and doing your homework, just start looking, go to Zillow, go to Redfin and just see what are these homes going for? What is the particular rent that they are that they are getting? And then now that can at least give you a general idea of what's going on in your neighborhood, the town over, so forth and so on. So before I make this video too long, we'll stop here. Because <laughs> you know, I'll start ranting, we'll go and this will be a 15 minute video easily. But we got more in the way. I'll start showing you some of the properties I've been looking at. So we'll go more in depth over the next videos, going to talk about financing, creative finance link, creative financing, conventional mortgages versus investment loans, all of that good stuff. So we got more in the way. Let's go.